on this video of Proof of Make, we will be talking about Go CryptoBot. A runner game for cell phones on the Ethereum network that was made here in Korea by a company called Codebox. All right, so I'm sitting here with Mike, and we're taking a look at a Go Crypto Bot. Okay, so Go Crypto Bot. I'm not really a big fan of the music. Can we turn that off? Yeah, let's lower that um, down. I mean, it's okay. It's just when you hear it long enough, it's okay. All right, so this is the game. Um, so how do like so what do you so you said it was a runner game. So how does the where is the actual the action happen? Yeah. yeah. All right. So the run. I'm going to select the first level, and hit start. And it's a pretty basic kind of cell phone runner game. It has a little story about somebody getting kidnapped that you have to. Save and then you jump and you can slide. So slide lets you go under low hanging objects and jump lets you jump over low. We were talking about this. We were saying like, there's someone who should make like a, uh, a blockchain game that actually uh, is like more like Mario that's just kind of accessible and easy to use. Yeah, and yeah. this is a native app, which we don't see a lot of uh, apps that leverage blockchain technology that are actually native. So I like actually how they were doing that. Um, but this is, yeah, I mean, and is there anything else you do other than, and I like how they have all the different crypto symbols. So it's very crypto. Themed. Got the theme. Um, I don't see any doja yet. They should totally have some doja in here. Okay. And I so, died. Okay, you died. All right, so how, how, where is the actual blockchain? How is blockchain incorporated into this? All right, so what I found and is that this isn't a dApp. It's not built on top of a blockchain or any kind of smart contract. What it is is it uses blockchain cryptocurrency. Uh, as Ethereum specific, or? yeah, Ethereum, yeah, okay. Ethereum, as your means to purchase upgrades and get kind of more stuff. So you pay with Ethereum. Place. Yeah. So right now I've put. What's um, wait? What's this GCC? All right. So when you put your Ethereum in, it gets converted to GCC, which when is. They put it in. What do you mean? Uh, they have I like use, a wallet yeah. that they give so you. So when or? I want to send GCC, they give me a wallet address, and then I just send to that address. Okay. It'd be it. nice if they put like a QR code here or some other thing that make it a little bit easier to export it. You know. Um, but it does have a share that I can then send it as a message somewhere. Okay, or cool. Put it somewhere else. All right. Um, but GCC is kind of their, I guess, on platform stable coin is what you call it, but it's their platform coin. So it's an ERC20 uh, token? Yeah. So okay. it's a token that is fungible between Ethereum using their platform and okay. their token, which then you use in their marketplace. So you can take this GCC uh, and convert it to Ethereum? Yes. Okay. That's pretty cool. And do they charge any fees or anything like that? Yeah, every time you do it, it's three GCC. So three dollars to convert it to yeah. back to Ethereum, yeah. and you then you can use it wherever. Okay. Yep. And, you, and, and where in do theory, you do that? Is it on an exchange or something like that? Or um, you do it on their platform. It's not exchange. Oh, so they have like their own website. Where you yeah, they have that. their okay. own website, their own platform. But I mean, that's interesting. So so you buy items with Ethereum, um, and what items can you buy? And all right, so you can buy some. So I've already actually purchased some just to kind of try it out. Um, you can buy heads, bodies, legs. And these things called boosters, which are just a backpack. It's, Somehow it's like this seems like some kind backpack. of human trafficking, the way you describe that. Yeah, it, you know, it, you, you can get the pieces of people. And okay. you can also sell pieces of yourself, too, if, you, if you're really hurting from that. Yeah. Oh, oh, so, so you can sell. I can sell. actually, yeah, I can go to the shop. You can sell yourself. Right, so I have this thing called the dealer bot, because I'm a dealer. Okay. Okay. And I can sell this after I level it up by playing the game, which is kind of a cool idea. I, okay. I'm digging my equipment, and I'm leveling it up by playing the game itself. It's got that cool metagame thing going, and then I can sell it after I level up so somebody else doesn't have to play the game. Okay. So they have their own ERC20 token uh, that you use as in-game currency, which is cool. Um, it's fungible because yeah. you can transfer it back and forth in and out of Ethereum to your wallet that you control. Yeah. And you said this company is actually, the, behind this is made, uh, is actually based in Korea. It is based in Korea. That's so, pretty cool. Um, so based on the settings of your phone, I have my phone set to English right now, but if your phone is set in Korean, it, the game will be in Korean. Okay. And according to one of our employees, it's written in Korean. It's not just made up. Google Translate stuff. So oh, yeah. So I saw yeah. Sandy playing this game, and um, she had, she downloaded it from the Korean store, so it was a Korean yeah. version. Yeah. And, and the team, actually, um, I, I took a, a little bit of a look at that, and they're actually working on a platform that's helping uh, companies integrate blockchain technology. So I think that's actually really cool. We should definitely take a look at that as well. So uh, but this is a good example, I guess, of how someone could do that. Um, I'm not a big fan of the menu UI, but the game, the actual in, inside the game is actually really cool. Yeah, I think the menu UI definitely suffers from kind of the standard problems that you get with kind of cell phone games these days. Um, if you look at, well, according to uh, Sandy, the the UI is very much like how pretty much every like cell phone game in Korea is. It, it's it's refreshing to see um, people making things like this, right? Um, and um, I think a lot of other of the the actual dApps could, 
I'd like to see them at this level. Yeah. Making games that, where there are actually challenges, like, you know, stakes evolve, you can die, and things like that. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, one of the cool things about this, there is a game here. Um, it's not just, like, I'm trading. There's a trading aspect with the body parts and playing it. But then there's also, like, kind of a thing you do that, that I could see myself sitting on the bus being bored, and I pop up, and I want to play some runners. I'll play this, I'll play this on principle, because it accepts Ethereum. Uh, and I think a lot more yeah. games, yeah. Um, if they would do something like this, which I think they're, the company, I think if they, once they get this new product out, um, will actually maybe allow other games to do stuff like that. Um, if I understand correctly, that would be pr- pretty cool. Yeah, so I just bought myself a new body. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. It's not super complex, as I think, really, you don't want a really complex cell phone game. You want your cell phone game to be pretty uh, simple and easy to jump into. It's very accessible. Um, yeah. And it's got the pretty, a lot you of this just suicide? I just jumped in the hole because I'm, I'm not good at this game. I'm not. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I'm not good at this at all. Um, but I enjoy it. It's fun. And what yeah, is the plot? Little... You said something about robots with feelings. Yeah, there's robots that. and they have feelings, and then somebody gets kidnapped, and okay. then all the robots are doing I like stuff. The comic style of this. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I mean, who doesn't like Mario esque games, right? Communists. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> well, cool. Thanks uh, so much for uh, sharing this. Yeah. This is uh, really cool. I can see myself playing this.